Live from ABC7, Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, Dallas Rains Weather, and Rob Fukasaki Sports, as Eyewitness News at 5 in High Definition continues. New at 5, lifeguard towers around L.A. County beaches are getting a remodeling of sorts. Kids from the Braille Institute painted colorful panels today to hang on the lifeguard towers this summer. It's a project brought to us by the group Portraits of Hope. And as Eyewitness News reporter Indra Peterson tells us, these portraits mean much more than the eye can see. You may notice more color next time you head to the beach. More than 8,000 people from schools, hospitals, and social service programs have joined together to transform Los Angeles County Beach lifeguard towers into works of art. Those towers have been this really sun-bleached gray, and now they're coming to life. So welcome to the beaches of L.A., everybody, because they're going to be done by a lot of passion from the kids behind and the other thousands of kids, and hopefully everyone will enjoy them. It's all part of Portraits of Hope, an art and civic leadership program that brings therapeutic activities to medical care and rehabilitation organizations. Today, children from the Braille Institute lent a hand. We used a textured coated paint that we outlined with the volunteers two days ago so they would dry in time for today. So today the kids can actually feel their way through the panels and make it a lot easier and enjoyable for them. I think art is very important and I think it would be a very sad, boring place if we didn't have art. It's kind of like an escape from just living. I just love painting and I just like to help, like help out with the environment. Just the first time that I could um, make a mess and not get yelled at. The panels will be completed in about a month and in May we'll start lining over 31 miles of our coastline from Zuma Beach to Palos Verdes, making it the largest public art project in the United States. Lifeguards love participating in the community. It's partly why they're lifeguards. And so this is an opportunity to participate, to get the kids involved. It's going to be worldwide exposure and it's real. I mean, it's you can see behind me what's going on. These people are having a blast. And the benefits don't end here. When this exhibit ends in October, some of these panels will be shipped to shelters and hospitals, and even some of these panels will be shipped to Haiti and even Chile to serve as transitional homes. In Marina Del Rey, Indra Peterson's ABC7 Eyewitness News.